Hello and welcome to the new Biopsych.org website. I'm Alex Shearer from SRI's Bioinformatics Research Group, and I'd like to welcome you to this brief update webinar that will introduce you to the new look, easier to use interface, and more powerful search tools available in the revised and updated Biopsych.org. This webinar assumes that you've used the site before. If you're a new user, please head over to the new Introduction to Biopsych webinar series where you'll get a full introduction to the content and search tools of the Biopsych family of websites using the new updated website. The biggest single change in the updated Biopsych.org is new easier to use navigation tools and that's all centered on the top of each page. So let's take a quick look from left to right at the tools we have available. On the left we have the first drop down menu which takes you to the different home pages for the most popular sites in the Biopsych collection. We have Biopsych, EcoPsych, MetaPsych, and HumanPsych. Next, we have the search menu that takes you to our intermediate and advanced search tools, which I'll talk about a little bit more later. Then we have the tools menu, which takes you to the series of comparative tools that you may be used to using before, or like some of our users, you may have missed because they weren't as accessible. Then we have the self-explanatory help menu, which has a number of help options. Over on the right, we have the login option. Now you'll want to log in to be able to set things like preferences for display and which organism you start in as default. You're certainly not required to log in. The site is freely accessible. You can use it however you want. But we're planning on adding more useful tools to the login function over time. So you may want to have an account just so that you can have certain defaults set each time you come back to make your website experience that much better. Down below the login option, we have this, which tells you what database you're currently on and lets you change it. Now, the entire point of picking and changing your database is that this determines which database you're searching against. So you want to make sure that you have the right database selected. In this case, I have E. coli selected, so that you're actually searching the organism you want to search. Now to change the database you have selected, you just click on the change link here. And that brings up this select a database dialog box. Now this is an interesting dialog box for a couple different reasons. One, it shows popular databases, databases that get a lot of use, in this case EcoPsych and MetaPsych. Two, it shows you the full range of databases. So say that you know you're going to want to work on Eremonis. You can actually just start typing it here, and it will narrow it down to things that, that match what you've initially been typing. So while you can scroll through the whole menu and just pick it out with a click, you can also start typing the organism you want, then just click the down arrow, and now you've selected it, and you hit OK. And now if we look back up here where it says search database, it tells us that we're searching Eremonis. Now say we wanted to change that back or to another organism. Well, once again, I can click change. And once again, we have the dialog box here. And you can see that it's telling me that I recently chose Eremonis. And this will actually collect your last several recent choices. So if you're going to be flipping back and forth a lot, that makes it that much easier. For now, I'm going to use the popular database link and click on EcoPsych. And notice how it's filled it in over here and hit OK to select EcoPsych again. And once again, you see EcoPsych or E. coli K12 up here under Search Database. So remember, the whole point of Search Database and what it says here and the change box is to pick the database you're querying against. OK, so what about searching? So before, we had the old server.html page that led to searches and comparison tools all at one place. Now, that was kind of a problem for some of our users because they didn't know it was there. So as I've said, we've made searches and tools much more accessible by using this top menu. So the old server.html page is obsolete. You want to use these menus across the top now. And we have three tiers of searches. We have basic, intermediate, and advanced searches. The basic search is really straightforward. It's this quick search button up here. You just type something in, hit return, and you get a set of links. So for example, 
that's what a quick search result looks like. I have a set of links to a set of objects in the database where the term I looked for was in some way in the name or related to the object. So we have it broken down into pathways, proteins, go terms, compounds, and reactions, and you can click through on any one of these. So that's one way, that's the quick search, that's just fired off in the 